Hello, this is Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I have a gift card holder for graduation. It has a beautiful belly band and it opens like that. And you can put your gift card in there and slide on your gift card holder, belly band. I used the Witty Sism stamp set, which I love this. I'm going to be going through a whole bunch of these in different projects. And I do some blender pen, uh, just a tiny bit of blender pen coloring. So, first, we are going to start with a piece of cardstock. I used a uh, seven and a quarter by four inch piece of basic gray. Let me get my score tool. Okay, put that down. Let me take my sweater off here. Okay, and you're going to score the long side at two and a quarter and at five and a half. And that's it. Okay. So let's just burnish them. And this will be your bottom, and this will be your top. Okay, now we need to put a little bit of glue here and here. Put that on. Just a tiny little strip, if you can help it. I think I overdid it on the one side there. And always try to keep a little piece of tissue just in case it starts to leak out a little. Let's see if we can get that dried. Okay. Let's give that a little more burnish. Alright. Now for the belly band. I got a piece of smoky slate at eight and a half by one and a quarter. And what we're going to do is just gently bend it so that it's not so tight, but tight enough for it not to just whip off of it. <clears throat> Okay, and then we're going to take it off and we're going to burnish it. Let's make sure it goes straightly. Okay, and right now I'm going to set that aside. Okay, and we need our Design Series paper. I have a big piece, which is going to go on the back, that is three by three and a quarter. And that's going to go right here. So I'm going to get my snail. <laughs> I'm really off today. Okay, it's difficult when the, the camera's in your way. Okay. of some of that extra glue. All right, and then I have two pieces that are two by three and a quarter, and three quarters, two by three and three quarters, and that's going to go on the outside and inside of the lid. Now I glued it down. Oh dear. Okay. A couple 
over here. Uh, and I wrecked that little piece. I'll have to fix that later with a different piece over it. It's this here that is creating a problem. Piece of card stuck. There we go. This is our front. And then this piece, last piece, is one and a half by three and three quarters. And that is going to be on the inside, like this. Okay. And this should be dry by now. So yes, we'll be able to stick a gift card right in there, like that. Okay, and now we're going to test out our belly band here. Now I put it on the back. You could do it so that it comes to here where you're going to put your embellishment over. But I didn't do that way. Alright, let's give this a little bit of adhesive also. Okay, that's perfect. See, and it slides, but it's not too bad. Not too tight on it. Okay, now, now we are going to get a piece of Whisper White, which I already stamped. Ooh, nope, that's not the one. Sorry. I stamped and I cut this out with a one and a half inch circle punch. And then I got another piece of the basic gray. That's one and three quarter inches circle punch. Um, I will have all of this info written down on my blog, so you, you don't have to worry about it right now. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of coloring using the blender pen. Okay, now the blender pen, if you can see, I... Whoop, there you go. I have used this before but it is not I, I already went like this in the, on the paper so I got the whatever color I was using out of it before so now I'm just going to take where is it here it is my G block and I'm just or any block you have you're just going to get a little bit of ink on the block like that okay and you're just going to dip your pen and when you first put it down is where it's going to be the darkest. So I'm going to come over here. And then just kind of blend it over. And I'll do that the same. Oops, I didn't get any on the top part. See? It gets a little lighter on the other side. See? Okay, easy as that for a little one. And then I will just run my blender pen. And it's discolored on the top, but it'll work for any color now because we ran it out. It's just stained. Take this, and it wipes right off your block too. Okay, now we're going to use some dimensionals. This is kind of large and I want it to be sturdy, so I'm going to put it, take it like that. I'm going to put it on the larger circle. Okay, now for this 
just cute little embellishment of some metallic thread. This was, was a pretty good deal. There's 50 yards on here, and I think it was $6. So, but it's very cool for just tiny embellishments that uh, add a little pizzazz. I'm going to put some snail on the back here. And then I'm going to run this around my two fingers a little. And then just kind of move it around, get some to come a little longer than others. And then, which way is it? It's this way. If you want, it depends on what side you want. And then I just press it down onto the snail. And then maybe add a little. There you go. Let me just snip it off. I'm going to put probably three dimensionals. That one doesn't want to let go of me. <laughs> it really doesn't want to go in the garbage. Okay. There we go. Oh. Okay. And you just place it. I usually put it so that the words are straight. And there you go. And there is your gift card holder. Very easy, right? Okay. I wanted to tell you about a little giveaway I'm doing. Now, I am going to be doing a giveaway for the first three people who order from me after this video goes live. And the first person to order is going to get this Sending You Thoughts stamp set. It's very cute, brand new. It says, with a great big wish for happiness, happy birthday. What's this I hear? Well, all I can say is, another sensational year of you. You'd better be ready. You'd be better already. <laughs> I'm sorry. Congratulations. If loving thoughts could heal, thanks. And sending a little something. Okay, that would be the first person that ordered from me. The second person will get these Rocco Rose, I'm sorry, Rococo Rose Wonder Pens in Light and Dark. And the third person that ordered from me will get this Flowering Foils pack of paper. There is 28 six by six pieces. This one's my favorite. Okay. So, that is my giveaway. Hopefully, one of you that's watching will be the first, second, or third person to order. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you'll be able to make beautiful gift card holders. And you can switch it up for any occasion. My daughter's graduating from, uh, with her master's this, well, supposed to be this May, but... I'll be giving her some things, and I figured I would do maybe a different color one. All right, thank you so much for spending time with me. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.